Hello my Ingrinners, this is Vanboy and welcome to your daily dose of StarCraft 2 Legacy of the Void. Uh, this game is going to be an interesting one because I haven't seen one of these players play like a normal ladder game in a long time. Let me introduce the players to you really, really quickly. Uh, today's match is going to be between Sony in the Red Trunks playing Protoss. And this is going to be on Dust Tower. And his opponent today is going to be the one, the only, in control from EG. So, in control, um, does not play professionally anymore. Not really. He does enter tournaments every once in a while, moon that I know of, but he's more of a spokesman and kind of figurehead for EG. Uh, if you guys have been in a closet for the last, I don't know, 10 years, EG is an extremely large uh, esports team that is now owned, I think, by Amazon. Um, they... Uh, they bought up EG and a couple, like one or two more teams, uh, about a year and a half or two years ago. And e in control, more or less, commentates and is a spokesman and a figurehead for EG. He was uh, a commentator for WCS this year, so you have a gas deal from Sony. And you also have a gas deal from In Control. This, if you're going up the, I'm a Protoss player. If you're going up against another Protoss, it is written down somewhere that you do not steal another Protoss's gas. You just don't. Um, it sets you back so hardcore, it's not even funny. Because you're basically just mining off one gas. What Sony is doing is kind of intelligent and kind of dumb at the same time. He, uh, what he's doing is he's putting, instead of three on one gas, he's putting six. And I love this play from In Control. He is going back and forth between the gas and shutting down this mineral field uh, for Sony. But it looks like Sony does have a, a base, another base up at his nat. So that's a thing. And In Control is just... His Nexus is going to pop here in the next couple of seconds. But In Control did waste a Photon Armor Charge to get that Assimilator out of here. It doesn't... Oh, maybe... Yep. So is Sony. Sony is wasting an overcharge and has three probes uh, attacking the Assimilator. So I'm assuming those three probes are going to be on gas anyway. So, that's the thing. But, uh, this, these are pretty much mirror builds that I can see. Three gates, uh, cyber core expansion. With two gases. Uh, the only problem is, uh, in control is a tad bit behind. Just a tad. But he also gets a robo facility. Uh, I'm assuming long before uh, Sony doesn't have one. Sony doesn't even have one started. So In Control is probably looking to uh, get some type of damage done pretty quickly. Here come two Sony's adepts into the mineral field. There is only one stalker for In Control. Overcharge is used on the mothership core. Will he kill off this adept before he kind of gets? right back into the mineral line, and can this adept get another kill? Uh, yes he does, he gets three kills. Wow. So, right now, worker supply is 34 to 35, and worker's killed is 4 to 1. So, I mean, really any type of harassment in uh, PvP is a good, is really, really good for, uh, for you and not for your opponent. But uh, right now, 
and control is walking all five yeah all five stalkers all the way to the base of Sony and Sony basically has the same thing he has two four no he has six stalkers and is just now throwing down a robo so he does have a uh, blink on the way our ship core is going to go down pretty easily but all these stalkers have pretty much sacrificed themselves are they going to get any type of work done? I do not think so. One probe. Yep, one probe. One probe and a mothership core for five stalkers? I don't know about that in control. I want to call him EG for no apparent reason. Because I'm looking at clan tag and not his name. <laughs> because EG is a name of a player and not just a name of an organization too. So, yeah, that's the thing. It's eSports, it's confusing. Uh, but, if these are just basically mirror builds. 110% mirror builds. So, Sony looks like he's wanting to do the same as In Control is. But In Control does have, he only has three stalkers, but he does have an immortal. And mortals love eating stalkers for breakfast. So that's a thing. But Sony right now does have a third on the way. And all Sony really wants to do right now is uh, basically keep in control in his face. But uh, there goes one stalker down for the count pretty much pretty easily. But these, uh, these stalkers are going to go home. But you have a forward pylon with a gateway. The reason why with the gateway is because once the gateway is done and connected to the pylon, you get a three sec warp in instead of the five or six, I want to say. So it's a thing. But I don't see why in control is pursuing this army all the way home. <laughs> probably wants to protect his uh, forward pylon, but I don't see that being that big of a uh, threat, really. Uh, Blink is in, on the way for in control, but uh, you have the robo facility being chronoed and not really having anything going on that much. Sony is getting his own immortals. He does have two zealots mixed in for no apparent reason. Um, DPS, I guess. So, forward pylon. Uh, e in control does have a warp prism. And so does Sony. And it's full of four stalkers. This base is pretty much uh, totally and utterly undefended. Stalkers are out here making sure the third doesn't get any type of harassment. But we want to stay connected to this uh, warp prism of Sony's and see what exactly happens to it. Where is uh, in controls? There's in controls. In controls is pretty much in the exact same spot. But there are cannons here at the second, so they're gonna just add on just a little bit more DPS as long as Sony kinda stays put. And here comes the major engagement that we were talking about. But no, they back off. And there goes the warp prism for in control and they're being caught up with cannons for the most part and the major engagement is happening right at the front door of Sony so the ooh that was a good shot from the disruptors the disruptors basically helped take out the two immortals that were on this side and then also you had this it wasn't at the third on second unfortunately it's at the third Third was pretty much being devastated, so that Nexus was going to fall. 
in control didn't really have an army to back to fall back on so he kind of lost there were three adepts over here for no apparent reason but uh yeah nice shots from the disruptors um killing a lot of stalkers and weakening the immortals i did not see in control uh activate the shield ability on the immortals i may have just missed it i don't know but uh i hope you guys enjoyed if you did please leave a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed please do that it helps me out a ton and if you have any positive or any negative feedback for me please leave it down in my comment section and i will see you guys in the next video bye for now